Well, 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 welcome back to the West Ham Network and it is myself and Matt and we're here to discuss a potential transfer. Yes, you have heard me right, a potential transfer. Roll the bad boy title. Now listen, back in August, even further than August, you could go back a long time, but West Ham apparently were in talks to sign Dan Axel Zagadou. Now, you're lucky you've got me and you've not got Russ, because Russ would be singing some crazy songs to you right now about Zagadou, and he likes to take the claim on them. However, um, we did go across and sign another couple of central defenders in Naguerd and Tilo Kira. Now... The interesting thing is, Zagadou is still available on a free transfer. And earlier on this evening, a reputable reporter has reported that an English club, and th- uh, did, he, did he name it, Matt? Did he name it? I think he did. I think he did. He's gone he said, across the name. Go on. He said West Ham are in direct contact with the players, eh? Apparently. Yeah. Allegedly. So... Um, Go on, then. We, we thought we'd bring it to you. We thought, you know what? It's, we haven't seen you all in a while. We jump on and do a little video. Yep, um, absolutely. Break it down quick. Yep. Should we, what the stats first or the reason why he's still a free agent first? What would you want? Well, what what <laughs> people may ask, how can this deal get done? This is probably one of the biggest things that you could say. So players are free agent so clubs are allowed to sign a free agent after the transfer window does close so you've seen Wolves today signed Diego Costa and um, he's come in and and that's fine because he's a free agent so that's that's a complete doable thing now you may think we need do we need another centre half well possibly if West Ham were to release one of their players we'll come on to that in a second when you say release one of your players, what do you mean? You think, well, we've got players in contract, but if a player particularly wants to leave the club for unknown reasons or friendly reasons, etc., then they may look to get their contract bought out or they may terminate their contract. They may buy out their own contract. So there could be a negotiation there and that could leave West Ham with a free spot, a spot in the team that West Ham players, uh, the West Ham board are wanting to fulfil. Now, this could be the situation for West Ham. We'll come on to why we think this will happen in a minute but matt's going to give us a bit of a breakdown on why potentially we but well let's have a look at his career first let's have a look at zagadou's career and see what he potentially could bring to west ham matt so his his name's been around a while i remember hearing about him a couple of years back he's only 23 he's a 23 year old french print under 21 Centre back. He's played French. He's played for the youth academy in France, all that from the age of sixteen to twenty-one. He's left footed, six foot five centre back. Six Came foot five. Hold on a second there. Hold that thought. Six foot five. Another machine. <laughs> Absolute bloody machine yeah. in the back lane. He's a left footed, left sided centre back. Something was like kind of a ray of. Yep. Um. He came out of the PSG Academy, spent one year in the PSG B team, played nine games. Then got snapped up by Dortmund as like this French prodigy, next big centre back. Big in terms of ability, not just tight. Um, but he's only played 67 games in the five years at Dortmund. Now, obviously, originally, they, when they bought him, he would have been 18, so they would have given him a bit of root leeway of build his way up into the first team they probably wouldn't you're not gonna you rarely stick an 18 year old kid straight in at center back and play him and get back out so matt can Love. you do my favor mate matt can you reiterate that how many games has he played um for dortmund 67 67 and how many years five right now the question i'm going to ask uh-huh. to you which is everyone in the chat is going to want to ask you is why matt so he has he did play 18 games last season in comparison 20 
2019 to sort of 20 um 20, 2020 yeah sort of 2019 2020 wasn't a very good time for a young Dan actual Zagadou. Uh he I, I don't know if it's the same I'm assuming it's the same one but basically he blew out his knee. He is quintessentially at the moment a young Kurt Zuma. He missed three months of the 1920 season with an knee injury and basically missed the whole of the 2020 for the 2020-21 season. As I say, he did play, he did come back after that and play 15 games last season. 18 games technically, three games in the reserves, then 15 games in the first team. But 20, the back end of 2019, like the whole of 2020 was literally right off. I, you know, it was like 60, 64 days out with one injury and then the next season it was 106 days plus a surgery. It was another 200 days. Yeah. So like the, the 2020, the 20, I think the 2019, 2020, sort of 2020, 21 season, them two seasons combined basically destroyed his knee by the looks of it. Which is why he's now on a free. He did play 15 games for Dortmund last season. But maybe personally, they don't like the look of the knee injury. Maybe they don't want to deal with it. Thing is, we looked at him this summer. We looked at him before we signed Tilo Kira. Like, we apparently had talks with him, then Moyes was looking at him. And for whatever reason, we stepped away from him. But like we said, that that was four, five, six, seven weeks ago. Yeah. He's still without a club, and maybe we're tempted. Maybe he's tempted to go back in. Maybe he's no. now thinking, "I've got less wages." Like, yeah. maybe he's going to take less wages. He's, he hasn't had a club. He's literally earning no money right now. Yeah. So if West Ham have come back in and gone, oh, we'll give you a, I don't know, a low retainer high pay as you play deal you know we'll give you 20 30 grand a week and then you can have 50 grand a week every time you play sort of thing yeah to entice him to play and that if he's not fit then you're not losing loads of money maybe that's what's gone on the table and it no, doesn't, no. doesn't make sense like... it, it, well, well well people i mean there's i'm, I'm going to jump through some of the comments in here and, and we'll come on to a potential reason why in a second. So Sharkies, I uh, hope you're well, mate. Good to see you. Be surprised if we sign him. We've got lots of centre-backs at the club. We do. Um, Adam Cook, uh, evening everyone. Hope you're well. Good to see you. Tommy, good to see you, my friend, as well. Need to send you a message, actually. It'll be good. How he has pace. And with Zuma and Oggy, they are slow, which they are. Use one. It says it would make sense. Oggy is 34. Dawson will leave in January. Come on to that in a second. It would make perfect sense as Dan um, with Dawson injuries, issues, sorry, and Augie not getting any younger. Patrick is saying he's very injury prone. Mice Collective, another defender, yawn. <laughs> Iris Tommy says, great, now we can play eight across the back. More like 16, <laughs> Tommy. Smeagol's in the house, says, Zaga, do, 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 push pineapple, shake the tree. Of course, there you go. I'm sure that's Russ, man. That must be Russ in disguise. Yeah, exactly. If he's like Zuma too injury prone, we don't need another cash cow. Ooh. However, the situation we find ourselves in is... Over the summer transfer window, especially over the last week, we were led to believe and the stories were breaking about Craig Dawson and Craig Dawson looking to move closer to his family and be getting maybe a little bit more game time, but be closer to his home area where his family are. And no one really can stand back and, and ever stand in the way of a player um, wanting to do that. Now, the situation we're led to believe is that he is still looking at doing this. He has obviously came on and played a bit of games. Time for West Ham in the week there so he's back from his injury he's gonna go through a preseason matt he needs a preseason under his belt he's, he's only had a little bit of preseason under his belt the situation is though how this deal could potentially happen and the reason why we think it's an option is because we could look at terminating dawson's contract or sorry he could buy out his contract um at the club now memory serves me right dawson's got how long left in his contract a year it's less than a year now, isn't it? Less than a year now. So, he, he, you know, he's not getting any younger and he may be looking at a longer term contract. Free his contract up, other clubs can sign him in. And that could show you how potentially, you know, other clubs might be looking at him there or, or, or seeing the availability. But if Dawson was to leave, I mean, can, can you see this deal happening, Matt? Is this genuinely Only... something we could see happening? Uh, all, all accounts, Dawson wanted to go in the summer. And obviously, deadline date, it looked like that was going to go. 
And then for whatever reason, the uh, Benedict deal fell through and he went to Southam uh, from Southampton to Aston Villa instead of coming to us. And it looks like, unlike us for once, that, that seemed to be the only one they thought they could get in on loan for a centre-back. Yeah. Yeah. So when that deal fell apart, they said, Dawson, sorry, you're not going. Now, it, it was very well widely reported in the summer, wasn't it? That a home stick and missing his family and a very, very long commute from Manchester sort of led Dawson to saying, I, I want to move back up north, which is why the move to Wolves was on the cards. I, I don't think he'd have to pay out his contract. I also don't think West Ham would probably have to pay him out either. Yeah. I think if they could get this guy in as a Dawson replacement, um, maybe they just, Dawson and West Ham just shake hands and Dawson parts ways and leaves. Because he could still leave now and still sign for someone else. Yeah. He could still go and sign for Wolves for free, potentially. But yeah. now. No. West Ham could wait till January and then maybe yeah. this is just a preemptive of get someone in now. And then we haven't got to wait till January to buy someone to replace Dawson, but first of January Dawson just gets sold and goes somewhere else. Answer this question. Are we signing Zagadu or is this just clickbait? It's not clickbait, mate. As you can see along the stroll, it's, uh, it's on the Twitter. thing there. It's been reported. Uh, it, yeah. It's been reported. It's not just on Twitter though, Matt. It's not just on Twitter. It's coming from a reputable source. A source yeah. that usually is very reputable. So he has announced tonight that West Ham are in direct contacts with Zagadu's agents about coming to the club. Um, and you're right, people in the chat are saying that potentially, why would we bring in another centre half? Get it? Why would we? I, it, what, especially. It only the, 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 but, but, but this this would make me think that conversations are taking place between Dawson and the club, and Dawson's going to head, head out the door. Pushing for it, yeah. And he's Probably pushing for it. And now West Ham need to react by bringing someone in who they could maybe manage. They could maybe manage it. Maybe he's the, I don't know, I don't want to say it. it's the best of a bad bunch. He's not the best of a bad bunch. He's a very, very good player, but he's got injury prone and that is the concern. As Smeagol is saying here, um, Zagadou is very, very injury prone. I was Tommy saying, I think Moyes expects Dawson to leave in January and won't want to spend much money. If any to replace him, it would make sense to have Dawson's replacement already here. Um, he that's too many games. I said he played 15 games. Yeah. And he was only unavailable for about seven of them, eight of them. Yeah. So he hasn't had the, he hasn't had the knee, knee injury in over a year now. So as I said, may, maybe it's a case of they give him on a smaller, you know, smaller retainer contract. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, and I know to us 30 grand, 40 grand sounds, sounds like life changing amount of money. Yeah. yeah. But in the Premier League, is really not. And I suppose... You know, that's that's like, what, if you're not free contracts yeah. as well, so that's like gamble, man. You're not paying the transfer. It's well, gamble. I mean, if you're signing him up on a year contract, say, with an option of a second year, and you pay him the money you're talking about, he's not earning any money at the age he is. He's got bad injury prone record, etc. He played 15 games last year. It is a gamble, but if you're not going to get as much game time than what, um, you know, it, it, than what all the other players are going to do... It could be a gamble that could pay off. I mean, you could bring a player in. I mean, I get it. I understand this as well. I understand that people would panic about a player that's got a very bad injury record. But that doesn't mean that these players are done for the rest of their careers. There's a lot of players that are. Um, but I just wonder if this is something that's brewing in the background. Not in a negative manner towards Craig Dawson, but it's Craig Dawson heading out the door even sooner than January. I mean, we are only literally around the corner from January, to be fair as well, Matt. I mean, we literally, yeah, I was thinking about this today. Like, it's not that I mean, far. We've only really got two months of football left and then it's a big break for the World Cup. So, you know, you could find ourselves in a situation where, you know, players are, 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 are especially players like himself, uh, Zagadou is looking for a contract as well and may take less money, dramatically less money. Um well, I mean, I'd, I'd have to look at it, but I don't actually know what he was on at Dortmund. He might not have been a lot of Dortmund anyway. You know, it's just, he's probably thinking, uh, he maybe he expected to be signed up by someone by now. Maybe West Ham expected him to be signed up by someone by now. You know, Moyes did look at him 
before uh, Tilo Kiro. And then maybe thought, oh, he's a bit injury prone. I don't know if I want to risk it. Yeah. But whereas they, he man, like you said, he now he now maybe going. <laughs> Dawson is really the fourth or fifth choice centre back anyway. Yep. So we could bring a guy in. And he's an injury prone guy. Like you said, we give him a year. And we get the best out of him, then holy yeah. shit. Like, you know, you could, it could be out it could be a terrible decision if he's not going to play in the game. Listen, before I carry on, we're not going to stay on for a huge amount of time, but I've put the link in the chat. If anyone wants to come on and have a very brief chat with us about this situation, then you're more than welcome to come into it. So click the link in the chat there. It gives you an opportunity to come on and join us and, and, and give us your opinion on what you think about this. But you know, is <laughs> The Zagadou yeah, situation is go for it. Thirty-five grand a week is what he was on, right? At Dortmund, so, so if you turn off in the same match again, well, you, Premier League you know money is not a lot. It's yeah, not. but you know it's not. But you know the club, mate. They're probably not going to offer him thirty-five grand if he's not got a club right now. And if we're in direct conversations with him, there's an opportunity there to, for West Ham to negotiate, and probably 25. will. Yeah, but then you can also offer him... But then you offer him time. more every time he plays, or for plays. being fit and available. Yeah, so you drop drop the contract and you give him a kind of pay-as-you-play uh, version of that contract as well. You can have 25 grand a week, but every time... And then, you know, and, play, and then, they could stagger it and be like, if you're available to play, you could have this much. If you make the squad, you get this much. If you come off the bench, this, and you can start this. But also, though, if you do well and you get specific clause, like you play... 15 then games get, in the season, yeah, then you automatically qualify for a second contract with negotiations to take place and that can no yeah. negotiations take place. So for me, it could be a no-brainer to get a quality player. Yes, injury prone under our belt. It, bring, him gamble, in, bring him in now. Right? But, 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 the, but Matt, the gamble could work where you could keep Dawson until January or you just let Dawson drift away in the nicest possible manner. And we'd all be gutted to see it. But... I, I think if he comes in now, Dawson will stay till January. Yeah. And West Ham will literally shake his hand and let him leave free. And he'll go somewhere else. Yeah. Um, that let me bring in Tommy. Matt, Matt, let me bring in Tommy. Tommy, are you well? Very well, chaps. How are we? Yes. Good. Bye -bye. Thank you very much. Um, so, reputable, reputable source is coming out, speaking out, saying that we're in direct chat direct chat with uh, his agent now i get it injury prone it's not nice for west ham to uh sign any injury prone player any club to sign an injury prone player but i don't know if you caught the tail end of what myself and matt were saying there about potentially offering him a you know a lower contract he's currently or was when he was at Borussia dortmund on 35k a week he's now without a club so he's not earning any money just now so there could be a built up process where we pay him a weekly fee, a, a, a kind of pay-as-you-play bonus on top of that structure. And if you hit a certain point, then you get a, a new contract. Or it's just a bullshit rumour. <laughs> you know, what, what, what are you thinking, Tommy? Yeah, there's, there's probably um, not too much downside to this one. I wouldn't imagine, uh, let's assume for a minute that this is true and we're about to sign him. Uh, there's probably very little downside to us in this deal. I wouldn't imagine it's going to be a four-year contract or anything like that. Uh, it's, it's probably going to be maybe two seasons at the most. Yeah. Um, we may even just sign him till the end of this season and say, look, we'll bring you in, we'll see how things go. And if it goes well, you know, we can sign you on for, for longer. Um, so that I'm sure that's possible. He, he's not really in a position of strength. He doesn't have a club. Like you say, he's not earning any money right now. So that will help us too. Um, also, as I say, he wasn't on very much money at Dortmund, um, so we can get him, I'm sure, now for even less than that. You know, we could probably offer him quite a low wage, maybe some bonuses thrown in for appearances or what have you. Uh, you know, if and when he does play, he, he makes a bit extra. Uh, his injury proneness, yes, I get that, but he, he probably would be used quite sparingly. Um, you know, he would be quite always down the pecking order, and, and so that would kind of mitigate, you know, hopefully any injuries if he's not playing he's far less likely to get injured so and like i say he could be actually a, a very useful player to have in the squad uh, if he is needed so um and i think uh, like i said in my, my comment i think maybe moise is preempting that dawson will very likely leave in january i think he was very close to going 
to either Villa or Wolves a couple of weeks ago. Uh, that didn't pan out because we, we just couldn't afford to release him at that time, given, given uh, you know, and he was injured anyway. So um, I think it's just a backup, really, that should Dawson go in January, we've already got his replacement, hasn't cost us any money. And like I say, if he stays fit, which he should, um, bearing training injuries, but they're far less common, um, then we could have a very good, still young player, um, you know, in our squad who would be a very useful backup and who's very cheap. Tommy, you're obviously alluding to the fact that what some of the things we're hearing about Dawson, is he going to go, is he going to stay, etc. But, I mean, there is an, also an option that he could go now, you know, if he's got under a year left in his contract and um, we do know that he was pushing, not in a negative manner towards West Ham, but for a positive reason for his family. And he was pushing for the move. Um, you know, the club he could buy out the contract. The, the club and him could just come to some form of agreement. And um, he, he, no, he, I don't. I don't. We're not going to buy out his contract. That's not going to happen. I don't yeah, think. No, no. Uh, I, I think like, come to an agreement it, of some sort. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, we, we would. His contract would just be terminated by mutual consent. Yeah. You know, um, uh, both parties would agree to just rip up the contract, let him let Dawson leave on a free, then he can sign for what a, whatever club he's going to sign for up north. Um, we're certainly not going to pay out his contract. He's the one who wants to leave. Yeah. If he wants to leave, then he walks away with a handshake and that's it. Uh, and then he can go sign for whoever he wants. But that is a real possibility too. It could be that if this guy comes in, um, that there is an agreement in place you know, between Moyes and Dawson, that, you know, if we can get this guy in, then we, we will allow you to leave by mutual consent and, and then you can move back up north. I suspect we probably were willing to let him go during the transfer window, but obviously for various reasons, it just didn't pan out that way. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that could happen. If he comes in, Dawson could leave immediately by mutual consent. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Loads of comments coming in here. Artel saying Dawson goes, bring in Zagadou, get in time to get fitter. Uh, for or after the World Cup, a gamble that could definitely pay off. I mean, it, there's no ifs and buts about it. It potentially is a gamble. It is, but if it was a deal structured in a manner that West Ham fans could get on board with, then we could be sitting on a player that could be very good. Now, other you could turn around and easily turn around to me and say, well, why is no other teams interested in him? I, I don't really know the answers to those questions. And, it's a gamble. Um, and, but it's a gamble. Yeah. It doesn't matter, really. Um, I, I think it would. In, I think it would inevitably be a West Ham friendly contract. Yeah, yeah. Let's not forget, Premier League sitting a lot more money than the rest of Europe right now. We've got stupid amounts more money, so a lot of teams are probably sitting there thinking, like you say, like there's, there's going to be no transfer fee involved. You've not paid a transfer fee, right? So the gamble is purely on wages. But a lot of teams in Europe, like you said, thirty-five grand a week may not be a lot. For a Premier League, but that's probably in like maybe that's an average wage. Maybe that's like a yeah, maybe that's an average wage in Germany. Maybe they can't afford to gamble on thirty five grand a week. Yeah. Twenty five grand a week. Maybe for them they're gonna pay that. They need to know that you're gonna be playing. Yeah. Whereas the way the Premier League's gone with all the T V money, the overseas T V deals, the Premier League's so so much engulfing the rest of Europe for T V for just revenue in general at the moment that for a Premier League team, a 35 grand a week, 25 grand a week, whatever the down payment is on a gamble of a two-year contract. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's peanuts, to a, it's peanuts it to a Premier League club. And yeah, you think, yeah. you know, gambles these days, a 10, a 10 million pound signing, you know, Flynn Downs, 12 million is a gamble. So if you're not paying the transfer fee and you're just signing him 25 grand a week, it's, it literally is like, Tommy said, it's peanuts. Yeah. Matt is saying I'd offer him 20k uh, page play bonus of maybe another 25k. Patrick is saying, who is this Zagadou and where is he from? Can you be more specific? So obviously we were on a little bit earlier. So Dan Axel Zagadou um, started his, his career, um, where, where have I got it here? For his hometown club at US Critel. Then he went to the PSG Academy at the age of 12. And I think he played for PSG's B team. He had nine team. appearances for them and their B team before signing for Borussia Dortmund. And I think in total you said he had how many? Appearances in total for Borussia Dortmund over five years. It's sixty-seven over five Six, years. Sixty-seven. But, but of said, course, it... first of all, they signed him as. Well, first of all, they signed him as a kid. Like he was eighteen. So you know, as I said, not not every team is going to put an eighteen-year-old straight in. Like yeah. you know, they're not. Um, I was trying to get up and play. Uh, it, as I said, it was really like. 
the, it was the back end of the 2019-20 season and like the entire of the 2021 season that basically ruined him. Yeah. Because even, even here, sorry, in 2017-2018, when they first bought him, he played 11 games. 2018-2019, played 17 games. This is just in the Bundesliga. So, and, and then it's the 2019-2020-21 the is where he had his knee injury that essentially crippled him. But then he played 15 games last season. So... He's, he's he's also six foot five. He's a centre back, but he's a left sided centre back. He can also play as a left back. He's not mostly suited there because his size is probably what makes him reasonably awkward. But you know, having another player at that height um, definitely offers us a, an advantage in our set pieces. Tommy really doesn't it, and you can see that Moy seems to like the big lads, doesn't he? he really likes the big lads. He does. Um, Moy does not like conceding from set pieces, but he loves scoring from them. Yeah. So, um, you know, if under whatever circumstances this guy happens to be on the pitch, then, yeah, he'd certainly be very useful on, on corners. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe, I don't I don't know, I haven't seen him play, so I, I don't know if he, you know, I mean, if he's that size and he can attack corners the way Dawson does, I mean, he would have been an absolute weapon on corners. Absolutely. Kent is saying, I can only see this happen as if a guard is worse because of the treatment room, because uh, he knows treatment room more than Andy Carroll, but... There could be something in that as well, but then, you know... I doubt it. I doubt it's that. I, I, I doubt it, Ken. I genuinely believe it's more Dawson replacement yeah. as such. Um, yeah, because like, we, would, we wouldn't need... I mean, you know, we wouldn't need to buy uh, a, a left-sided centre-back. I mean, yeah. Ogbonna is back fit, and, and uh, we've got your know, carer playing really well there, so... Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Matt, has he had a pre-season with Dortmund? Well, no, because he was released, wasn't he? Right, released. Yeah, yeah, his contract went out. So that would be, that may be the flip side of it. We're talking about maybe Dawson gets released now. Maybe Dawson gets released in January. Maybe he gets picked up now. Maybe he gets brought in now on the basis that Dawson look, going ma maybe going. maybe he wanted to go, like we said, deadline day, Benerick fell through, so the whole domino fell through and Dawson didn't get to go. Maybe they sign Zagadou now. We've got a two-week international break, then there's a six-weeks period, then it's the World Cup. So maybe Moy signs him now, gets him in a pre-season, like the very early start of pre-season now, so that come January the 1st, he is up to scrap for what Moyes wants as a centre-back for fitness levels and team integrated. And then 1st of January, like like, like Tommy said, West Ham and Moyes, West Ham, Moyes and Dawson all shake hands. They say to Dawson, you can go on a free, go find a club, tell them we'll let you go for nothing. And he leaves and the placement's already there rather than letting having the whole scenario again where we're spending a couple of weeks trying to chase a centre back. Yeah. yeah. But you could out. um uh, you know, when it, with mutual consent you can do that any time. So it could even be a case of, you know, we we get Zagadou in now. Like you say, Matt, we, we get him in a pre season programme, get him up to, to proper fitness levels and maybe by the time the world cup comes around uh, and we figure by the time the world cup is over and the premier league resumes you know he'll be he'll be good to go so even by the time the break comes up for the world cup that could be the time when when dawson leaves on mutual consent rather than making him wait while they're not playing anyway you know when the world when the premier league breaks up for the world cup they might say right now you can go we've got zagadu up to speed and by the time we come back he'll be be ready to go so Kent is saying he'd rather sign John Egan if he's honest. Twenty-nine-year-old John Egan. Egan. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's it's not a hill, it's not a hill I'm willing to die on. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> Problem is, it's, yeah. Uh, part, I think part of the reason for Zagadou is that his age is, again brings is, you're bringing the age of the squad down. Like we said all summer, they brought in younger players, so you're letting a thirty-three-year-old go, and you're bringing in a twenty-three-year-old. Whereas bringing in almost 30 year old i know I, I know i said for a premier league team 12 millions like not that's just gamble money but if you're going to gamble you'd gamble on youth that you still got resale value on if you spend what is it reported 12 million on like a 29 turning 30 john egan you're not going to get that money back I'm gonna jump through. Let me jump through some of the comments, man. There's, there's, there's shitloads here. He's got an agent. You just can't mug someone off on a contractual basis. It's starting up the problems for the future. I don't even know what that means. You no, are? Go back to that one. I don't. I'm, I don't even know what he's getting at. He's 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 got an agent. You just can't mug someone off on a contractual basis. It's storing up problems in the future. 
Um, I, I don't know if he's referencing the fact that maybe we sign him on a contract and um, we're being mugged off. I, th- I think maybe he, I don't know, Artel, if you're meaning that we're going to get mugged off. What? People do it all the time. Andy Carroll literally signed, was it last season? When he signed for uh, Reading for six months? And he's on, he signed for a grand a week. And he, but he got like 10, 15 grand a week every time he played. Yeah. Because he was so desperate to play and no one else was signing. He literally said, I'll sign for you for a grand a week. And then when I score goals and get assists and play games, you can pay me. Yeah, we're not time. mugging anyone off. We're not mugging him off. We're, 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 we're giving him what he deserves, like what, he's, what he's worth. Yeah, if you can elaborate what on that for us, Arthur. We, we don't think Zagadou's going to come in and get 50k a week. It's just not happening. No, it's not happening. Forgot, no, not with it, no. Bozuzuku saying Zagadou did <laughs> what a chant. Ironclad 57 sour game v Everton has been pushed back by 15 minutes. Better than being called off. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, TV. Be on TV. Did- Jason is better than Zach Jason Denier. I did I did see someone say that about Jason Denier's still on a three. Yeah. But I'll be honest, I, I, yeah. I've seen uh, him not want to gamble on him. Yeah, happy saying as Gonzo would say, sign him up just for the song. Uh, Trini is saying that only 23 got to think his injuries must make it not worth a risk. I wonder, you know, Trini, I kind of flip that. I flip your yeah. comment and think maybe... I know what you're saying. Be, was, I get it, I get it both ways. No, I get it both ways, though. That's the thing. So, yeah. so it really falls on a gamble, really. He said, yeah, and that, that's what we're saying. It is literally, it would be a gamble. But, you know, there's, you know that that is literally the definition of a gamble, isn't it? You, you may stru- strike big, you may strike out. Yeah. But... Artel's back. Maybe his physical attributes and club background pedigree are what's attracting Moyes. Well, like we said, 65 left-footed, left-sided centre-back. He's... Young. And obviously he does have, I mean, look, he obviously does have some talent. You know, if, if he was signed up by Dortmund at a young age and they obviously thought he had a lot going for him, he's been unfortunate with injuries, but he's still young, you know, so, you know, we'll be paying it. It'll be a very West Ham friendly contract. He'll be, he'll be fourth choice at best, centre back. Um, you know, well, it is many first choice. <laughs> And I'm sure, like I say, I'm sure it'll just be a contract to the end of the season and we'll just see how he goes. If it doesn't work out, we can just release him in the summer. Yep. Happy saying he'll be back up so Dawson can leave in January. Knee problems the same as Zuma, but could do a job until Aguero's back. Happy, I hope you are keeping safe as well. Always here for a chat if you ever need the chat. Uh, Kira is small though. Um, he is, but he's a great ball-playing defender. And I think he's personally going to keep getting better and better when he plays alongside better and better players. I think he... I, I can't wait for a Guerd Zuma situation to really fulfil this West Ham team because I think a Guerd, uh, Kira, has been probably a surprise package. Tommy? Yeah, uh, yeah he has been. Um, a very pleasant surprise, I think. Um, he just... He seems to be getting better by the game. You know, he uh, came in at a shaky start. He's been a bit unlucky as well, to be fair to him. You know, he's been played out of position where he's not really left-sided, but um, I think he's done really, really well considering. And and with each game, his confidence seems to grow and his self-assuredness seems to grow. He's, You know, he's very calm and collected on the ball. Yeah. You know, he's not a panicky player. And so I I'm... really like what I've seen from Kerr. I, I've been so pleasantly surprised. I mean... It'll be interesting to see, as you say, what happens when, when Aguerd is back and Moyes feels like he's ready to actually start games and play 90 minutes. Yeah. Um, I mean, you have to imagine Aguerd will come in. I mean, he was Moyes' number one target, spent a lot of money on him. 100%. Uh, and if Zuma is still fit, I mean, does it mean Safal is going to come under serious pressure at right back from Kerrer? I think he might, you know. He might do, yeah. Uh, but Suzuku is saying, oh God, a Leeds fan. Oh, he's a good friend of ours, though. He's a good Lee Um He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, you're, you're, uh, yeah, yeah, leave him alone, mate. He's, he's good. He comes on, has a good West Ham chat. So it's always a pleasure to have you on, Lee. So don't you worry about that, mate. <laughs> uh, Lee is a legend and a regular supporter of this channel. Much respect. He is absolutely. Dawson going in January and Augie could be the end of the season. So we need another centre back long term. Anyway, I, I do think Moyes is building for the future in the centre back position. You know, if you've got Kira, you've got Aguerd, um, yes, you've got Zuma, then, I, I don't know what 
Zagadou's the gamble, but Zagadou's the gamble. Oh, Tommy's gone. Um, that would mean that we potentially have a player that could be good and could be fit, or a player that doesn't work out, and it gives Moyes an opportunity yeah, then to that, go. And that's where you probably do, see the sort do, of contract. Do it's more due diligence on the situation, yeah. and, and to be honest, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yep, he is left-footed. Happy, he is. Um, sweet Zagadou, do do sign for West Ham. Take the p- <laughs> uh, Zagadou being signed for the Wizard of Oz. These are risks. It could be magical. Fisher, keep him well. Thank you very much. I just want to make sure there's two of them in there tonight. There is. There's two. There was one the other day, but there's two there. Does he have any international experience, Matt? Does he have any international? experience my friend up to under 21 level yep. which seems to like coincided when he started getting his injuries yeah yeah so absolutely and happy's answer that, that showed you that they showed you that they thought we had uh, internationally we had promise as well yeah kind of 16s all the way up every age group up to under 21s yeah yeah absolutely boys isn't stupid he'll know what he's worth and what he can give to the team it's worth a shot if the price is right Oi, oi, come on, Johan, from Lincoln. Good to see you, my friend. French international, you've already said that. Kira may be small, but he has pace passing and he's very vocal also. He is. Ken, I completely concur with this uh, thing. Um, there's a video coming out tomorrow that myself and Matt have already recorded. We speak about this, so keep your eye on it as well. It's really good to see you around here, Ken, as well. Thank you for joining us. Kira's a baller. Love this guy already. Moise is very good at signing defenders. Uh, as in the Germany team, Kira will be our right back, right wing back. Uh, Zagadou comes uh, in move career Kira to right back PSG youth says something though doesn't it? it does yeah Goldfish and Sullivan there you go so listen short and sweet show nothing major we've been here um, join us for tomorrow we've got a West Ham daily we've got Hammers headlines we've got a Q&A with the next pro tomorrow evening loads of stuff coming your way it's ridiculous amount of stuff coming your way so please make sure you do subscribe to the channel please hit the thumbs up please leave a comment with your feedback as well it's been really nice to have you all in the chat um and will west ham signed zagadou on a free transfer he is currently unattached to a club after being released from Borussia dortmund most prominently down to the fact that he has had long-term injuries but that doesn't mean that he's done he is only young he is uh, currently 23 years of age he's a six foot five center half left-sided player can play as a left back position but can struggle in that position as well but keep your eye on this one because this is something that is interesting as you can see in the ticker tape going along the bottom pedro almedia a very well reputable portuguese insider has said west hammer in direct talks with zagadou's agents for a free transfers if you are interested in becoming a channel member click the membership option if you're new around here subscribe to the channel hit the like button thank you very much for watching stay safe matt final words uh i would say this is definitely one to keep an eye on because yeah. you know it does seem to point you can see lots of logic in it and it's it's not an, what i would say at the end of it is it's not a name that's come out of nowhere yeah. this was a guy that Moyes and newman scouted in the summer and was under consideration before tilo kira come in so there is legs. There, there seems to be legs and history to this. So yeah, it's definitely one to keep an eye on. Keep an eye on. Stay safe, everyone. Come on, you irons. It's like a family tree